Strudel, and welcome to Storytime. This is the tale of the time I almost murked a man over sloth pants. These sloth pants, in fact, yes, it's true. Over pajama pants. It's a dark and sordid tale. Let me tell you all about it. So. <laughs> This one time I was dating this man, I'm pretty sure we had freshly gotten together around that point. <gasps> he called me one day and asked if I would like to go downtown with him and his friends, meet his buddies, you know. <gasps> the only thing was, his friends weren't getting out of work until later. <laughs> so he had the grand idea of me going to his house and we would just pre-game together, you know, have some special water before hitting the town. Since it was going to be late, he said, why don't you come over in your pajamas, bring a change of clothing, we'll get ready together, pre-game, and then we'll go downtown and have an absolute blast with thing one and thing two. I said, great, that sounds like so much fun. Mm -hmm. This man I was dating, has been nicknamed shit sheets in my little social circle. So that's how he's going to be referred to going forward. So I pack a bag, I put on my pajamas, these cute sloth pants, and I go to shit sheets' house. <gasps> I show up, shit sheets has already gotten started on the bottle. Dear oh dear, a little bit of a drinking problem here, huh? It was like the 32nd red flag I'd seen at that point, so naturally I swept it right under the rug and grabbed a glass for myself. It starts out really cute. I walk in the door with my little bag packed and these pants on, I'm feeling cozy, I'm feeling cute. And Shashit looks at my pants and he's like, oh my god, are those slots? I'm like, yeah, they are sloths. They are so cute, aren't they? And he just starts raving about these pajama pants. Like, what a weird thing to hone in on. But he's like, oh my God, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Yeah, aw, oh, little sloth pants. I've never seen anything like it. And so I note that it's a little weird that he has hyper-focused on the sloth pants like that because they're just basic pants with little cartoons on them. But, you know, I brush it off, I brush it off, but this is a part of the story that we need to remember for later, that he honed in on sloth-specific pants, okay? Keep that in your little noodle. Either the friends fell through or they were completely imaginary because Shishits and I ended up not going out at all. No, we pre-gamed, Shishits polishes off the bottle, and passes out. So now I'm just at this man's house, too weebly wobbly to drive myself home, awake, wide awake from all the sugar. So I'm just pacing around, petting his rabbit, walking around his house. I don't have the Wi-Fi password. I don't have my laptop. I have nothing to entertain myself with. So I'm just weebly wobbly and increasingly agitated because now he's just fallen asleep on me. He's just completely out cold, snoring. There's nothing to be done for it. I'm like, you know, maybe I should just call an Uber and go home and come back and get my car in the morning, but I'm not gonna feel like that. Maybe I should just crawl into this man's bed and take a nap. And at this point, Shit Sheets hadn't earned the nickname Shit Sheets yet, so it was pretty okay to crawl into the bed, I guess. There may have been prior Shit Sheet incidents that I didn't know about, but <sighs> these were early days and I didn't know how dark the times were about to get. So I'm like, fine, whatever. I will have some water and take a little nap. So first I went into his kitchen and I stuck my fingers into his guacamole. Swirled them around a little bit because I was angry. Left it there. So I go into his bedroom, 
and I'm like, fine, I'm going to take a nap. I go along the side of the bed to crawl into the emptyish side, and I see a funny lump on the ground. A funny, familiar lump. And I look closer. Maybe my eyes are just hazy, a little misty from the special water, because surely I don't see what I think I'm seeing. And sure enough, crumpled on the side of his bed, no lie, is a pair of sloth pants. And I am just flabbergasted, astounded, amazed, the audacity of this man. So that's why he was so amazed by my sloth pants. Because the girl he had over before that he's seeing behind my back also came over in sloth pants. And so he must have thought it was so funny. What a coincidence. It's so hilarious. Except this dummy never picked her pants up and she must have just left them there. So I'm just standing here, staring at these sloth pants, crumpled beside the bed, just loud and proud. And I feel pure anger take over my body. And I realize in that moment, I am perfectly capable of ending somebody. In fact, I am at this moment going to end this man. He is never going to fall asleep on another girl again. He is never going to shit another bed. <laughs> he ends tonight. I am so angry about these law fans. And so I'm just staring at him in a blackout, wrathful rage, knowing that this man is about to get clowned right to heaven. I'm so angry. Just everything is building. Um, I can feel steam coming out of my ears. So I'm staring at these pants and I, oh, I'm a loud person. I go, what the fuck? And this man bolts upright out of his drunken stupor and says, what? What? And at that moment, I look down and I realize I'm no longer wearing my sloth pants. Those are my sloth pants at the side of the bed. When did I take my pants off? At what point during pacing this house, bored as hell, trapped in this man's house, did I take my pants off, leave them crumpled there, and then wander around? We hadn't gotten busy or anything. There was no reason for me to be pantsless. And then I was just as dumbfounded. I'm looking at my bare legs. I'm looking at my pants. My bare legs. The pants. Trying to come to terms with the fact that I can no longer this man. Even though I still feel angry. What has happened? I'm trying to reconcile this new reality where I have been a pantsless kitsy this whole time somehow. Sloth pants. No sloth pants. Sloth pants. No sloth pants. So I couldn't quite compute what was going on. You know, my brains were a little jiggle juggled, so I just... Uh... Crawled into bed. And took a nap. And then I just left without committing a crime. 